What's going on, everybody? Goose on the 13th here with another suit for the week of May the 2nd. We have the Heavy Gundam IO here, a 600 cost raid with three priority and compatibility in space as a three star. Going on in here, let's check out the weapons. I'm going to be honest with you, oh, Heavy Gundam, first of all, Heavy Gundam boosted up to this cost when the original was the baseline 450. Pretty crazy. Also, a raid. But we do have the launcher over here frame launcher in this case we have incendiary missiles on this instead of regular missiles <clears throat> decent accumulation on both of those to be honest um the rate of fire on this means that it's gonna still take a minute and you have some other things that accumulate faster as well as a um basic single hit stun here for the beam rifle really weird modded one interesting to see that like under it's almost like a weird under mag it almost looks like it should have the Super napalm, except that it's just like inside of it. Anyway, beam saber as well. This is actually, as you can see in the stats, a little more range than it is melee, but that's okay. Um, 60 millimeter Vulcans on here at 150 range for 110 per hit. Um, everything on here, for the most part, has a decent amount of accumulation. You can actually get a stun with these. This it doesn't take too long because of the rate of fire. This is probably like the slowest thing. Because this, the shoulder beam cannon, does not work like the one on the regular heavy. This is a two-hit burst for the neutral shot. Um, and that stuns if you hit both, unless you're hitting something with damage control, yada yada. And then you get a regular stun for the full charge. You can actually charge this while moving, so that's good. This is, oh shit. <laughs> that's, this is your main instant stun if you're still trying to go in for Thwackens. And then... As you can see on the, well, kind of, on the shoulder, there is a little, almost looks like a missile launcher where you have some extra funnels from the old Cubile. And this actually makes a funnel fence for the bombard. Interestingly, it, it tracks in and comes in from the side as opposed to like forward because there are only three of them in the array. And then we got a large shield here with 5k health on it. Checking out the skills here, we have... Actually, no, let's check out the stats first. So, stats are 19k health. Ballistic, beam, and melee resistance are all 22 just across the board on this. Like I was saying before, it is a range suit. More than nothing else, we have 40 range as opposed to the 20 melee. Uh, movement speed of 130, top speed of 215, thruster gauge of 70, turning speed of 78. Part slots, we have 14, 16, 14 for close, medium, and long. Moving on to the skills, we have Assault Booster Level 2, High Performance Balancer Level 1, High Spec and Back Level 2, Maneuver Armor Level 2, Force Injector Level 2, Melee Combo Controller Level 1, Shield Tackle Level 1, Shield Break Stance Mastery Level 1, Leg Shock Observer Level 3, Flight Control Program Level 2, Emergency Evasion System Level 1, High Blast or Anti Blast Stabilizer Level 1, High Blast. Full Power Tackle, so this is something that the Game Alk actually gets at their certain percentage. Opponents react differently when damaged by a tackle at 30% HP or less. And Biosensor Ability Boost also at 30%. It activates and boosts mobility and attack delays the time to be locked onto by Psychomy Weaponry by 200%. It reduces the occurrence of stagger caused by cumulative melee damage. Nullifies all reactions except for stagger due to cumulative damage only upon activation. So. Pretty neat. The interesting thing about this is that the only thing Psychomy that I knew about is that it actually had the, the biosensor on it. I did not know that they were like, oh, by the way, we got some funnels from the Cubile that we scavenged. Let's just strap these on here. Um, let's go down the enhancement list here. So we have plus one to ballistic resistance for the first one. Second one is plus one to anti-beam. The third one is plus one to range. And the fourth one is at the very end for the complex expansion slot. And the two unlockable upgrades is plus 5 to Ballistic Resistance and plus 5 to Range Strength. So yeah, <laughs> the interesting thing about this suit, which you may even consider a little unfortunate, is that it's a raid. Um, it only has really two, two like more reliable stuns. Since you do have the rifle, but you also have the shoulder cannon, we're going to bring this into a match. Oh, I didn't select it. Really? Um... And although it is doable, and obviously people are still going to be running around in this, you know, getting downswings and all that too, because it is a, a two-hit downswing. 
Um, the bulk of its damage is still ultimately going to come from Pursuit or just winning the the gunfight against the support and just tapping it and forcing it to move, stuff like that. Um, but let's get into this. So for the Gatling gun, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So at 25 shots, you got 100 shots. So four stuns potentially, if you're being very accurate about it. But, you know, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Not too bad, give or take here. Obviously, if you hit them, if you continue to shoot them during the stun animation, those will not count towards the accumulation. Then we go into the shoulder cannon. Two hits with that pretty much gets the stun. Actually... You can cancel it. It's not really a whole lot of incentive to it, but you can. And then we have our little funnel monster here. Puts out the, the fence, and as you can see, puts it off a decent amount to the side before spreading out the array itself. That's pretty neat. We have our instant stun rifle here, where you would actually go into these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shots out of the eight, so pretty much the whole salvo and a 500 tick on general is not bad there. Just 500 tick in general. This guy's gonna die. Hold on. I could just change the thing, but I'm just gonna go over to the other DJ anyway. But yeah, overall, at least on paper, right? We're talking about a lot of accumulation, a decent amount of damage. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So about 17 shots for stun. Which means you only really get one stun per head mag. But, you know, you got a bunch of other stuff to link into. Not a super big deal in that regard. You know, keep in, mi in mind that everything else on this mag, like the raids and supports, all have um, some sort of damage control on them. Downstairs is just a two piece like that. I'm gonna be honest with you, unfortunately the the counter on this not super inspired. It's just the one two and M Bonk upside head. But it gets the job done. And then of course we can put this down into the 30% range to show off some of the other stuff. We're hurt. Oh. Okay, that's how I am at the dude fucked up. <laughs> Who did? Oh, no, in a moment. Let me not force the tackle. You back up, yeah. So you got that shield tackle on top of that extra stuff for the heavy. And then we'll move over to the base to show off some of the accumulation here. I'm gonna also um, put our health back up. Okay. Oh, and I guess, you know, this, well, I'm, I guess the one thing I should note, and you might have noticed it there, um, but there is no piercing on these, so if I, if I charge and line these guys up. See, it only hit him. It didn't go further through here. It's the same with the two-round burst, unfortunately. We don't have that kind of extra leeway for extra damage. Um, which is a bit of a shame. I feel like it would have been nice to have that, at least for the, the two-round burst or whatever. Just for some more extra passive damage when we're trying to pursue the support itself. And we just kind of don't get that. So overall, not crazy accumulation on the base. But it can help out. Same kind of usual stuff. But overall, this is a bit of an odd duck. Um, it can be run aggressively. It does still have the priority. It's not like they put it to two or anything weird like that. Um, and it does have some decent damage chops with it. But for the most part, your finishing damage is going to come from your ranged weapons and whatnot. The bio sensor is really cool. The heavy tackle is interesting. Especially if you... Um, in a situation where there's a lot of latency in some matches, having something that at least gives you a little bit of breathing room if you do miss the counter on trying to hit somebody is just nice. But 
we did get a couple matches in here. I'm going to try to throw one of them right around here. Yeah, yeah. Were those the only ones that came in for six or were there more for the JPN? There's more. JPN uh, was Fubuki and uh, Mio. Okay. But yeah, we got the EN, so Iris, Gura. Mm -hmm. For English side. Who is the third one? Mission start. Yeah, I'll do Welcome another, to anyway. the jam. I gotta adjust the volume so it's not loud on. Hey, who? Oh, what you gonna do? Hey, oh, what you gonna do? That's my baby. There's a lot of other shit going on over here. Oh, that hit me. Shit. An ally has destroyed an enemy DJ, turn it up. And then they go murder up. Asian, get the fuck out of here. No. 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 MB. Oh. Uh. That's my baby down there. No, that's a different person. That's not my baby. There is my baby. My baby might have just died. <laughs> Enemy oh my destroyed. god, I got deleted. Oh yeah. An ally has destroyed an enemy mobile suit. Hey, whoop, Danny. What was the fella say? Whoop, Danny. Baby shoot! Baby shoot! Baby shoot! Baby shoot! Oh. No! No! Oh, units been destroyed. Minor damage. Oh god! I got a shot! Oh my body! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah! Yeah! Oh god! Oh! Oh, oh no! He knocked you over! Oh no! Bury the my baby with it. Yeah, go burn. That's a shield hit. What the hell? Wow. Is this a new suit? Yeah, it's a new suit. It is the heavy Gundam IO. Ingram's oh, got another suit. Override, it's a 600 please, raid. Where and how you'll sortie? An allied unit's been destroyed. It's got funnels. Welcome and it got biosensor. Also has a heavy, heavy Sager tackle that the game all has at 30%. Oh, I know why. Because it's the time jam. I don't wanna know why. An allied unit's been destroyed. Uh, uh. Units been destroyed. Oh yeah. Oh Lord, there's a bunch of them behind me. Uh, uh no. I'm reading significant damage. Oh wait, no, what if where did it go? It was aiming at your bro. An ally has destroyed an enemy mobile suit. No! 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 He's shooting me! Oh no! Your mobile suit has been destroyed. Oh! An ally has destroyed an enemy mobile suit. Oh my God! One wing angel. <laughs> An ally has destroyed an enemy mobile. I'm going in! Oh no, Asia, get out of here! I'm going in! He's coming! Oh my lord. An allied unit's been destroyed. What do you mean, Edmund? 
No impact on combat yet. Oh shit, I fell down. No. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you go to me and I know? Dabba deeba dabba 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 Oh my god! Come back! Hey, stupid, don't hey, get away from me! Back, you smell back. so bad! Come back! No! Come no, back. Why me? Get Come out of here! Back. No! Uh, Come back. back! I just wanna talk to you! No, you don't! No, no you don't! <laughs> Woo! Oh my lord, what the hell is going on? Hit. Hit me. Now I got a bunch of stink lines. What the hell? I've been a long time, long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? 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 Nice work out. POV Gus fan. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm gonna change the map. Okay. Here are this battle's rewards. That was fucking silly. <laughs> and that was our match in the heavy. Um, some of the rounds are a little bit rough. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really think that this is gonna hardcore replace a lot of stuff. But again, capable suit. If you can get the good spacing, especially if you're someone who tends to do a lot of outside work with raids, things that either have two tap stuns or just extreme range on their main guns or whatever, then you're probably going to be right at home here. There's definitely a lot to work with. That being said, try to try to be a little bit careful. Thankfully, you do have some rolls and stuff, and of course, when you're in sensor, you get a little bit more leeway. But uh, there's a lot of stuff at 600. That's just pretty much built for like general um, high range like punish, right? So if you get too caught up in it and start to lose the gunfire, you're gonna feel it very quickly. Because at the end of the day, even if something starts to rush you down, you only have one or two options depending on how much stun resistance they have at the time. You either have to landing punish them with the rifle, hope that you had this charge and can get the commit out, or that they don't have DC and that you can get the two tap out with the neutral shot on this and just be enough because the rates on this for the missiles are a little bit low especially since you have to get all of them but one um so yeah just try to be mindful keep that spacing if you want try to throw on the new part for the movement and stuff just so that you can try to kite a little bit more you're gonna be most annoying at like mid more often than not because some of the stuff on here especially like the lock ons and stuff still require you to be pretty close in order to get those going so that you can mix them in with your other blasts and maybe even go in for some down swings. But that is just the general just and initial impressions for the Heavy IO. I'll probably run this a little bit more during the week. Like I said, not super crazy about it, but still not bad. And I, this is a suit that me and the boys when we were doing downtime in the hangar would joke about coming out because oh well, we already had the heavy maybe we'll get the heavy um i forget what it was called it was just the the alt heavy io at the time and i used to joke that oh watch it be like a raid or something crazy because of the bio sensor and lo and behold here we are i didn't expect it to be 600 mind you i thought it was going to be a little bit lower than that but we'll see how it holds up there's a lot of really powerful raids just powerful suits in general this kind of has an upward battle in terms of meeting the expectations that those kind of set but i think you can manage so until next time this is gustav the 13th i'll talk to you all in the next one